Hello my friends and welcome back to Coffee Tea Paper. Um, I feel I feel like I'm starting a meeting and I'm going to say welcome everybody and we've before we get started we've got a bit of housekeeping and an announcement to make. <laughs> it's a bit boring isn't it? Um, but what is exciting is that I drew the three winners of my little mini giveaway now i put up their names in the community tab but i know that you can't access the community tab if you're on a mobile device and but i also put a comment uh on the actual video itself uh two uh, of the recipients have contacted me but one hasn't so i will give it a while and um, I will share a little video here of drawing the the winners uh, but Sherry Sherry if you're out there hello if you don't if you don't want the um, the giveaway it's okay it's no problem but just let me know and I will draw a, uh, another person if I don't hear from you or if I hear from you that you're no longer interested it's all good now in other exciting news uh, well <laughs> exciting for me you can pretend to be excited it's okay uh, it was Mother's Day last weekend and uh, yeah we, we don't really do make a big deal of it at our house uh, because I, I must admit I feel very fortunate that I am um, very nicely uh, looked after by my family generally for the entire year that I don't need a special day but uh, it's it's still nice uh, to be a little bit spoilt uh, however they really spoilt me and uh, I was given a beautiful bunch of yellow roses which I will insert a picture of somewhere and uh, and then uh, a couple of different types of chocolate unfortunately one of those <laughs> my son was getting the box they were, they were like little chocolate thins and so they sit in a tray and my son was getting it out of the fridge one night so that we could have a couple after dinner and unfortunately as he took it out they all fell on the floor <laughs> so we're just down to one lot of chocolate now but that's okay and uh, and they gave me a, a new watch band in this very fetching green color which I like very much and speaking of green things in fact olive green things ooh la la what do we have here <laughs> yes my lovely lovely children pulled their resources and purchased me one of the new traveler's notebook regular sized olive covers so I was just so thrilled and excited and uh, they really wanted me to open it up and who am I kidding I wanted to open it up too so there's no unboxing or anything fancy like that but I've kept all the bits and pieces to put in my memory keeping a journal which I'll do at the end of the month uh, spare elastic in this lovely blue grey colour and the cover itself I was explaining to them how they're all a bit different some people are a bit more uh, like a brownish and some people's are really really olivey green and I I mean is anyone ever unhappy with theirs I don't know <laughs> I certainly wasn't I just am so thrilled with it I just I love how it's quite dark olivey almost a, an olivey brown over here and then as it progresses across the cover the spine is really a true true olive green color and I am just thrilled with it I must say I'll just open it up so you can see 
what I mean. So yeah, so it's got this real um, goldeny, olivey green spine, and as it progresses outwards, it it gets darker. Um, yeah, so I just sort of sort of had to sit there and and hug it for a bit and stroke it, fondle it, look at it, give it a hug, you know. And then I did the same to my children. I <laughs> I, I patted them and gave them a hug to say thank you. <laughs> anyway, I so I didn't do an unboxing or anything like that. However, I will share with you at some point. Um, I'm gonna set it up. I've got to. I want to change out the elastic, and of course, it needs to be a little bit, you know, personalized. Maybe a charm or two. Um, what what insert I'm gonna put on it? On it? In it? You know what I mean. And uh, yeah, so we'll do that. Uh, I don't know if I'll do that in this video or another video, but. Uh, I shall uh, do it because it's fun. It's fun to set up new, new journals. So for today, I uh, am going to do use vintage items or vintage inspired items in my spread today. Uh, this week. Uh, went a very different way to what I expected because my son ended up being home He was not very well poor darling and uh, So I yeah, he 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 just wasn't very well at all and I didn't really feel that I could leave him so I pretty much just uh, stayed with him the entire week and looked after him and you know that kind of thing and and that was it. Uh, that was absolutely fine, of course. Um, and because I really, I really felt for him, and because uh, he's not, he's not actually prone to getting very sick. He's never really come down with much. So I don't know whether sometimes he feels it more because he's not used to it. But he was actually really quite unwell. Um, However, that did allow me to do heaps of mail catch up and I also organized all my stamp albums. So I have masses of stamps and I had them in about six different albums and I got a new one oh, maybe about a year ago of 64 pages and I was able to put all the stamps from all my albums into the one. Um, very time consuming, very labor intensive, but this was the perfect week. To do that. Oh. Okay, so I just had to mute my microphone there briefly, but uh, we're back now. And uh, yeah, so one of my pen pals, uh, Serviana, uh, who is also in Brisbane, who also came to the journal meetup uh, last month, she gifted me a vintage book that she found in a thrift store 
which has all um, botanical drawings of roses and I think I shared uh, when I opened up her little um, mail to me uh, with that in and I kind of just sat on it for a while and thought oh do I do I cut it up or, or... now as I'm not a rose grower and the book does have a bit of damage on some of the the pages I decided that it would be perfect for fussy cutting and then I can share the images around uh, with some of my pen pals as well as use them in, in my spreads and really get uh, some enjoyment out of the uh, the lovely illustrations in in the book um, yes so because I got a lovely bunch of yellow roses for Mother's Day I'm putting yellow roses on these pages and the other thing I'm using is a vintage Dutch dictionary page and a like a miniature masterboard that I think Lizzie sent me where she's made it from a corner of a, an old book and she's added in uh, some some birds some bird printables I think I used some of these the other week and she did some stamping as well and added in some washi tape and uh, yeah, so I just liked the greens and yellows and the greys from the stamping that match uh, match in as well. And of course the yellow, yellow flowers also. Okay, I'm just going to take that bit off. And I'm going to use all of this bit. Yeah, so we didn't really do much for Mother's Day and my son still wasn't really feeling 100% either. However, my husband did make a delicious dinner of uh, chicken pie, which is, is his speciality that he makes, which is really delicious. It's um, chicken and bacon in a sort of a, a white cheesy white sauce um, with phyllo pastry and ginger pudding which is also his uh, speciality um, with lots of glacé ginger and um, dried ginger and golden syrup <laughs> and yeah super delicious really really yummy and I was able to get back into my tea journal as well and uh, yeah enjoy some some lovely teas and uh, yeah so I did I posted um, a couple of time-lapse videos on Instagram but of course uh, at the end of the quarter at end of June I will do a more relaxed, slower paced update of uh, what's been going on in my tea journal here on YouTube as well. And uh, yeah, so that's not for a while yet, but something to, well, for me to look forward to doing and, and hopefully you look forward to, to seeing it as well. I've got another Ferris wheel press video um, in the works as well. Uh, they have sent me their latest releases to have a look at and of course I will be sharing them here with, uh, with you guys. And uh, yeah, just as a teaser, it is one of the new one of the inks in the uh, California dreaming series and something else as well to have a look at and uh, yeah and it's a little bit different to what we've had before so not giving too much away 
probably more appropriate for summer rather than winter but seeing most of the world is in summer that probably makes a lot of sense okay I'm just gonna get some other bits and pieces to to add in probably some washi tape and some stickers been sharing these stickers and using them and so I've actually moved some of them from two boxes into one box because I was able to um, condense ah, coffee I like to keep that one for when I do an actual coffee spread which will be probably soon because um, well let's face it I enjoy doing coffee spreads <laughs> and I seem to like uh, acquiring some coffee themed goodies as well I think we might need to get out the green box too. Oops. I think we've got enough flowers. Maybe another one of these. Mm. Palermo. Porto Palermo. Marseille. Bush. Du Rhone? Mm. Mouth of the Rhone. I think. <laughs> okay. Oh, now I want a third one. Oh, do I have a third one? Oh, I've put the pink stuff in the green box. Oh, the green one must have been the one that I'd mostly finished. <laughs> I think. Let's just check out the red box as well. Just in case. Oh no, look, I've put the green stuff in the red box. <laughs> that makes perfect sense, doesn't it? No. Hey, and I saw on Amazon, because these have been selling on Amazon Australia for 33 three dollars I think four boxes of these and I got an email saying that they've been reduced down to I think twenty six dollars which is still fairly expensive in my book however it's a move in the right direction so just keep an eye on them and uh, and I will keep an eye on them and we'll see if the price comes down further Okay, no, don't like that. Gotta have the olive washi tape. Okay, and I think we might call that done. And uh, yes, yeah, so some other things coming up is the Ferris wheel press video and also uh, I've been getting some uh, mail in this month so I have been uh, filming that while I've been opening it as well so I'll be able to share with you towards the end of the month my May mail opening yeah okay <laughs> now if you haven't um, subscribed to my channel and you enjoyed this video or maybe you want to go and check out some other videos first before you make a serious commitment such as subscribing is then please do that I've got a lot of different things uh, I do journal spreads I do mail opening I do fountain pen ink reviews I do other journaling I do memory keeping I do some happy mail making um yeah all those sorts of bits and bobs and uh, so if any of that appeals to you you are most welcome to join us here thank you for watching and I shall see you next time bye